Hey everyone, um, I am going to do a makeup tutorial and it's actually going to be kind of an interesting one because from my shirt you can kind of see that I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan and I just watched it last night for the first time, the new one, and it was really, really good. But I do um, have some interesting looks I want to do with um, the characters. And uh, I really, I wasn't impressed with Daenerys as far as her makeup goes last night. And that's because I think, you know, because of the context and everything, she wasn't supposed to look like her usual beautiful, bright self. But um, she also has really, really amazing eyebrows. And um, I do not, I have very thin kind of simple eyebrows. I'm not wearing any makeup right now, so that's kind of telling. I will fill them in a little bit um, in a second. But, um, so as you can see, um, I don't have the look for her. So I'm going to do a little bit of a different look. I'm going to use the um, the Queen, and um, played by Lena Headey, and um, I'm going to do her look because I, I was more impressed with that one from last night's episode. Um, not that either character is better or worse. Um, personally, I like Daenerys better. I'm on her side. But um, I'm going to attempt the Queen's look. Um, don't have the face for that either. I don't have the high cheekbones, but I'm going to show you how you can create some contouring so you can look a little bit more like the Queen. Um, I use mostly Mary Kay products, but I don't um, limit myself to any particular brand. Right now, I'm going to use Merle Norman's um, Matte Oil Free Moisturizer because I like how it gives, gives you a little moisture without getting greasy. And I tend to have really, really, really oily skin. Um, but I like that I have oily skin because one day it'll come in handy, you know, when I am getting wrinkles and stuff, but I try to take good care of it, so we'll hope that that doesn't happen. I want to show you how I have my whole thing set up here because it's a total mess and I want you to know that I'm working at a table. This is very low tech. There's no budget. This is my table. These are my supplies. There's a few more over here. I've got my tea and my mirrors. I've got tons of mirrors because as a Mary Kay person, we do a lot of um, facials and makeovers. I always do all of mine for free and I never want people to buy products or anything like that. It's, just kind of, it's, it's a hobby and I kind of just do it because I feel like it helps people. It makes me feel good and it's fun and I don't really get anything back from um, that. Sometimes people buy products from me, but I don't really care if they do or not. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a stencil to fill in my eyebrows. Because I have no eyebrows. <laughs> or I have very, very sparse eyebrows. It's, it's actually funny because when I tweeze them, I have to tweeze all over the place because um, they grow kind of in spots where they shouldn't and then um, end up, you know, with hair that shouldn't be in the right place. So, I tweeze them all myself, and that's probably bad, and I should probably get them done from somebody, but I don't. Um, I use the Christian Cosmetics. Um, I use Irid Brown, which is this kind of plain brown shade, and I use a shade lighter than my natural hair color because if I use something too harsh, it looks crazy, especially with the stencil. I use the Christian Thin Stencil because I have thin eyebrows, so I use the Thin Stencil. I just kind of go right up to my eyebrow and I kind of just... I want like an arch, you know, because I have arched eyebrows. I just have... I have too much eyebrow and not enough um, darkness. So I'm just creating a little bit of that darkness. It's not going to look like Daenerys Targaryen-ish, but um, that's okay for now. So I just kind of fill it in, in there. 
then you can see I have more of an eyebrow now. I try to take the ends and go like that a little bit, but there's only so much you can do. Um, I usually use my Mary Kay Tinted Moisturizer, but since we used this one, you don't need this one anymore, but this one's just for when you're on camera more. And this one's a good everyday one. It's got an SPF of 25, so it's excellent. Um, and I live in Florida, so it's, it's helpful. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, kind of an all-over foundation, but a light one. It's going to be a cream, creamy foundation. It's not going to be heavy um, because in in Game of Thrones, and as you you watch, you know, many movies over time, like The Lord of the Rings and things like that, um, you see their their foundation is never really that heavy, but it is pale. So I'm going to use a shade that's a little lighter than my skin. A lot lighter, actually. But it's called Ivory 4. Right there. I don't know if you can see that. That's right there. This is my little Mary Kay palette, and it's very handy. And I'm just going to use that in the nose and under the eyes area. I'm not going to use it all over the face. Because I'm not big on, like, heavy foundation. I hate hate wearing foundation because you just have to take it off later and it's a pain. And I put it I put it on my eyes a little bit. And then usually I just use a concealer which is amazing. I usually use beige too. And this is by Mary Kay also, but I use I've been known to use any um, I use Physician's Formula a lot too, I think it's called yet yeah, Physician's Formula. It's really, really good too. Um but Today is kind of simple. We're just going to do a, um, a lighter, kind of neutral look. Because that's what a lot of the characters had um, on. And I'm going to do some eye primer. Because we are going to wear a little eyeshadow. And I love this eye primer. It's so good. I use it under the eyes, too. Um, I know I should be a little more delicate with my eyes, but I'm not. kind of just... Put it all over the place. Um, okay. And then, as you can tell, I have, like, a spot of redness on my forehead. So I'm going to just use um, a little bit of this foundation stuff, cream foundation. Just kind of disguise it a little. I'm not doing anything heavy. And then I'm just going to use this um, Ivory Two powder. And this is going to be light. And I normally don't use powder that is three shades lighter than my skin tone. But I was looking for my brush. But anyway, this is the powder brush. And I'm just going to like kind of go like this wherever you want it. And this is also a foundation brush, but I use it for powder too. I like the way it comes out. And I have another powder brush. This is the flat powder brush. I like how this one comes out too. I like it for the cheeks. It's really, really fun. So now that we're like very white. Yes, very white. But that's kind of like their thing back then. Um, especially in medi medieval times. They didn't have lots of neutral colors. They had more white makeup than anything else. So I'm going to use a bright um, corally, kind of brownish coral lip liner because they used a lot of red and coral and browns in, in that like time period kind of fan. I know it's more fantasy than real, but I'm going to try to make it as real as possible. And I'm, I was actually not wearing any lip uh, chapstick or anything like that. So I'm actually going to use a little chapstick too. And this is a Mary Kay lip suede and it's tinted, but it's a chapstick. It's very pretty. I love it. Um, so I'm going to do that. I, mean, I like to li line the lips a little outside of their edges, um, but not too much. Don't go overboard. Um, and then I try to fill in the lip. So, 
little outside of its edge, right? But that's okay. It's not a ton. It's not really heavy. Um, so I filled in my lips with the lip liner, which is unusual, right? But um, I like to do it. It keeps my lipstick on longer, and I don't really wear lipstick. I wear a lot of lip gloss, but it keeps whatever I have on longer. And then I'm just going to fill the rest in with this chapstick. I'm just going to be a pretty pink color. But I'm going to end up mixing it with, this is actually not Mary Kay, it's YBF, and I guess that's your best friend, and it's, um, it's my New York beauty, so it's, um, it's pretty good. I like it. It's actually a mocha color, but it's an iced mocha. And the reason I'm using that is because it blends well with the pink. And I like chopped lips, like crazy chopped lips. Okay. I'm not going to use any gloss on top. Okay. So I, do, I, I tend to do my lips before I do my eyes because this particular look is very light. Um, and I don't want to overdo it. So I want to try to keep everything kind of light colored. So, if I do my eyes first, sometimes I go overboard. Um, so I'm going to do uh, a brownish eyeliner underneath. Just kind of outline right here. That's it. Right there. And then I'm going to do a little bit, like little dots. So... What I'm trying to do is make it dotted because it looks natural. It kind of looks like parts of your eyelashes. Um, yeah, it just looks like your eyelashes. Because uh, they don't really wear a lot of heavy eye makeup on um, Game of Thrones. And really any, any of those shows, movies. But I am going to use a brown... This is called um, Iced Cocoa. It is by Mary Kay. And it is very pretty. Very natural. But it's a, it's, a, it's a little darker than your normal, like, apricot color for the eyes. So I'm going to use that on the eyes. Right in the corners here. And it's just going to give you that, like, bronzy kind of look that I think the Queen shows a lot. Um, and, and even in, like, last... Up, um, season, last season, she had a lot of this look. <sighs> okay, so, once you do that, you're going to do a little tiny, tiny bit of black eyeliner on top. It's just going to be a thin line. It's not going to be anything heavy because, again, it is kind of, um, we want to keep it kind of natural. And I'm just going to, um, Actually, use the other mirror. Okay. Just kind of draw it on. It, it, this is um, actually our Mary Kay liquid eyeliner, and I love it to death. It's so easy to use. Um, it's a pen, like marker type thing, but it glides so easily. I never feel like I make a mistake with it, and then. Um, I want to make, make sure you get like kind of close to here, the edges, and then at the very edge here, sorry, you probably can't see me, very edge here, I'm just going to draw a little line out, kind of like a wing, but not, not as, not as dramatic as a wing, a wing would be like out to there-ish, which I'm not going to do. And then, um, it's basically almost over. Um, I promise, almost over. Now, next thing I'm going to do, though, is the blush. And I'm going to keep it kind of neutral. I have this color right here. I actually have, um, this too, which is a highlighter, and I'm going to use that. But then on top of it, I'm going to use what's called Sunny Spice. It's kind of like a neutral-ish blush, which I like a lot because um, I, I kind of like neutral colors, if you haven't noticed. But this is also a neutral look. And sometimes I use bright pinks, but 
today I'm not going to. I just kind of like go right in the apples of the cheeks. And bind your apple, you know, do the two fingers and then go up from there. Okay, and the other one. Two fingers, go up from there. And you can do your little fish face if you want, like me. I just kind of make a fish face and I pretend I'm a fish. And then I use this highlighter. But I'm going to use it a little lower. I'm going to use it right here. And I blend. Make sure you blend because you don't want just spots of white. And then I'm going to use it right here. And this is like maybe a pretty good um, look to do every day. I wouldn't use as much highlighter as I did. But um, I'll tell you why. I'm going to use some highlighter up here too. Just right right there. And it's so easy. Like this highlighter is small enough and it's the right shape that when you put it on the brush it comes out perfectly. You don't even, you just kind of like go like this and like that and it's there. It's so easy. And I do a little on my nose too and, and right here. I, I definitely do a little in the forehead right between um, my eyebrows and then right here. And you can actually use a little bit right here and you want to smudge it a little bit but um kind of brings out your lips i maybe used a little bit too much but that's an easy fix um and then i use a, i actually use this right here in my lip bottom lip right in the center it looks weird right now but you smooth it in and just pucker and it looks really good. And that, besides the um, wonderful mascara, I love this mascara. It's called Ultimate Mascara by Mary Kay. And it is my favorite mascara I've ever tried. Um, I love the brush. I love how it comes out. I'm going to show you, like, kind of trying to figure out how to do this the right way. And, and as you can tell, we're not wearing a ton of eye makeup, but this mascara is just so, it's just gonna, gonna look so good when it's done. And I, I like to curl my lashes actually after I use a coat of this, but I'm not gonna do that for you guys. I'm just, cause you know, this isn't an extreme look. It's just kind of a, kind of a fun look. It's just fun. Fun, fun, fun. Fun for everyone. I maybe had too much coffee today, but that's okay. I've been trying to quit coffee. I've been more doing tea and stuff, and I had one cup of coffee and a cup of tea, and I thought that was a good amount. So then for hair, I'm not going to do my hair for you because my hair is like, it's in a really in-between kind of uh, stage. It doesn't want to grow. I just cut it recently and I cut my bangs and so they're all over the place. But if I were gonna do my hair for you, um, I would take it back halfway back like this and do a braid right here and a braid right here and pull them back. So you'd have two braids and then this would be all up and then you could do a couple of braids coming down, like Daenerys does a lot of braids. Um, and um, as far as this look goes, this is like my first real video, so I'm excited. And um, thank you for being so patient with me because um, I, it's a learning experience, let's just put it that way. Um, so I have lots of, lots of products here. And you saw some of them, and um, let me know what you like, and you know, kind of like which products you don't like or do like, and um, let me know if you have any future suggestions for videos. And um, other than that, um, just keep enjoying your Game of Thrones. Um, to all those Khaleesi's out there, enjoy this look. Um, and for you know the other groups. 
Um, I'm a fan of like all of them, so I, I don't really pick sides that much, but Daenerys is amazing. You have to give her credit for that. So, um, other than that, I guess have a good day. Enjoy your Easter Monday. All right. Bye.